I want to talk to you today about the topic of fitting in. I think it's an important topic because a lot of times we don't fit in. We don't feel like we fit in in certain areas, you know, in certain circles. And to be honest with you, we're not supposed to fit in completely all of the time. That's just not realistic. But it's a really tough place to be at when you're in a place where you're brand new, for example. And I'm going through that right now. I'm in a brand new area um, for work. And I really don't know anybody. And I don't feel like I completely fit in just yet. But do you know that that's normal? That when you start something new, you may feel like you don't fit in for just a little bit until you get to that place of really getting to know people, you know, know their quirks, how they maneuver, you know, what they do, how they do life and all that stuff, how they work, how they play, whatever it is, the circle it is that you're in. It takes a little while for you to feel like you fit in. And there may be certain circles where you don't fit in at all, but do you know that you're not gonna fit in in certain circles, but that doesn't mean that you don't fit in. So let's define a little bit about what it is when you don't feel like you fit in and how you take that to other areas in your life. There are certain areas that you will not fit in, but it doesn't mean that you will not fit in in other areas. But here's what happens. You know, you're a kid and yes, we're gonna go back to childhood because a lot of times things that happen in the past in our childhood or in our teenage years or even our adult years, we take it forward into other areas in our life. So, for example, if we were one of those kids that they didn't choose us for any sports activities, we felt left out because we didn't fit in. Maybe you were the type that was a geek or not very into you know that sports world type thing and you were like well yeah they didn't pick me because I was scrawny or they didn't pick me because I was too fat or they didn't pick me because you know I'm not in the in crowd and so we take that forward unknowingly sometimes right but it's in the back of our subconscious and so when we're not picked for something when we're not chosen for something when we're not looked for we start to believe and think that we do not fit in. And that's far from the truth. Maybe you didn't fit in at that point in time, but it doesn't mean that you don't fit in in other areas or arenas or circles in your life. And so you have to kind of sit back and really ask yourself, is it really that I don't fit in or is it really that I'm feeling insecure because I wasn't picked in the past and therefore, all of those insecurities are coming up and I'm interpreting it as I do not fit in. So think about that and answer that question. There are tribes in heaven. There are tribes in heaven. And how do I know that? Because he established tribes here on earth. So in Israel, they had 12 tribes. And so I like to think of like our ethnic background, and I'm just using that as an example, right? Our ethnic background as a tribe, you know, our churches, there are different tribes. It doesn't mean that the tribes can't come together, right? Because if you look at it, Israel had 12 tribes, but they all came together and they all came together a few times a year, especially once a year to worship, right? before God as a nation. So all the tribes got together as a nation to worship. So, you know, some of you are saying, Baraz, I don't feel like I fit in. Think of the circle that you do fit in. You have your tribe that is your family. And maybe you don't have a family, but you have a tribe of friends where you're doing life together and you like a lot of things and you think alike, you're like-minded or your tribe within your church. Find a place where you will fit in. And let me tell you something. I love my church. I love, love, love my church because 
we are a tribe within a tribe within a tribe we are so diverse in my church and you can always find your tribe within the bigger tribe right to fit in and it doesn't mean that we're being separate it means that we're being within a tribe because we are same you know we like the same things and stuff like that but when it comes to getting together and worshiping God all of the tribes get together and so a lot of times feeling left out or feeling like you're not part of the tribe it just might mean that you're not you haven't found people that are like-minded like you right and so you feel kind of out of place with certain circles and that's always going to happen and it doesn't mean that you're less than it just means that you're so different that it's kind of hard for you to hang and do life with those people but it doesn't mean that you can't come together every once in a while to have conversation you know and i think that that's one of the things that we miss that we take and we let our insecurities stop us from having conversations with other people that we may not necessarily hang out all the time with but that we can learn how to love or hang out once in a while with or do church with or you know do different things with that's why God admonishes us to love right you should feel comfortable within certain circles in order to do life and we're talking about inner circles so there are outer circles and there are inner circles and those outer circles consist of a lot of different tribes they consist of a lot of different tribes and we don't necessarily have to be in all of them so when you are feeling like you're not fitting in here's what you need to do ask yourself is this really a circle that i need to be in is this really a circle that i need to be in and then ask yourself why is it that i'm feeling like i'm not fitting in is it because of personalities is it because of your insecurity if it's because of an insecurity that you're feeling why are you feeling insecure now one of the things that i've done with my i refuse to live depressed group is that i told them to buy a journal and i think journals are so good because you can take the time to really write in it and start to ask yourself certain questions well why is it that i feel this way ask the question and then answer it for yourself you know it's so important for you to continue to do and if you haven't started start to do self inventory find out why is it that i'm feeling this way why is it that i'm going through this why is it that you know that these are my triggers you need to get underneath it so that you can define oh you know what i'm i'm not that kid from you know 20 years ago 30 40 years ago i'm an adult i can do this i can i can get past this insecurity you know and getting past the insecurity is doing something that you're uncomfortable with and what happens um after a while is that you become comfortable but while you're uncomfortable you don't start talking negative inside your head and say i i can't do this or i don't fit in because you do it's just a matter of getting to that place of is it a, a group or a tribe that I want to hang with I really want to do this do I want this to be part of my life or no this is just one of those outer circles that when we meet once in a while it's okay and you know what it's okay to do that it's okay to do that sometimes we put way too much pressure on ourselves and we feel like we have to do certain things we have to be with certain people constantly and and that's far from the truth you only have a certain amount of time and a certain amount of energy within yourself to give to others so what you want to do is to make sure that you're picking the right tribe for that intimate walk right for that 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 investment of energy and time and self where you are going to fit in and you're going to benefit and grow so make sure you're picking the right tribe so i want to pray for you um, if you're feeling like you're not fitting in and i want you to take the first step of you know go to church go to church 
find someone that you know that you like speaking to that you enjoy their company and invite them out for coffee you might be introduced to their tribe and you might feel like wow I do fit in but you know what we have to put ourselves out there we have to make the first step and if you already have a tribe then appreciate what you have and stop looking at the other places or the other circles where you don't fit in because you're not supposed to fit in with everybody it's just not a reality and it's okay relax in that you know guys we got to learn how to relax in life to be able to breathe and say it's okay i can do this i can i can do this you're gonna be okay let's pray so father god i pray for my brother or sister that is listening to this father give them the sense of fitting in first and foremost with you lord god because you are a good god and we already fit in your heavenly kingdom family that starts here on earth first lord as it is in heaven and we thank you for that and we praise you lord god i ask you lord god that you provide people in their lives that will make them fit in lord god that will make them want to continue in life that will make them want to feel like they have purpose lord god like they belong lord god let them feel like they belong lord jesus because they do god in the name of jesus amen